Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing two tutorials on two holiday party makeup looks, things that are really glittery and things that I think would be great for a holiday party. Um, and both of these tutorials are using the Vizzy Art Grande Pro Volume 1, which is the all matte, and Volume 2, which is the multi-finish one, which has a bunch of different glitter and shimmer finishes for each column. This palette's so amazing. I will put a link down below where you can shop my affiliate link to support my channel and purchase both of these palettes and a few other things. And I will talk about that at the end of the video. Hello, welcome to my eye. So for this look, there was one particular color that I will show you, which is like an antique yellowy green color. And I wanted that to be the centerpiece for this look. So I thought this would be really beautiful for the holidays. I think it really fits the time of year super well. So I'm gonna start off with the Grande Pro One palette. And we're gonna lay our basic mattes down. So I'm going to take this cream color right here I'm just gonna set my under brows with that. I always like to highlight underneath my eyebrows for a highlighted effect. I like to use a matte, I think it just looks better and then the shimmer will go just right here. And then I'm just gonna lightly use a very light transition color just to create a slight shadow in the crease. Nothing too crazy. This really isn't part of the look. It's just creating some natural depth to the eye I'm using a huge fluffy blending brush as you can see. I'm going to start off with this chocolate brown color right here. So in the whole palette, it's this color right here. And so I'm taking a little bit more of a stiff blending brush and I'm just going to bring that out from my crease. So don't worry about the shape too much out here because I did clean it up over here as you can see. I'm also bringing that chocolate color kind of in at the V as well. I hope you guys am enjoying this talk through tutorial. I just thought it would be a nice change. But as you can see, colors are blending so beautifully. And then we're just gonna go straight gung-ho in the black. So I'm using a very specific brush because I think this is really good for those cut creases and really specific crease color placement. So I'm going to create a shape to get ready for the cut crease. So you really want the black to be contained in one area. It doesn't have to be perfect. You'll be surprised at how good it's gonna look even though you think it doesn't look perfect. Once you add that concealer, it's going to be stunning. And just kind of go over and blend it. But you really do just want that depth. It looks a little crazy, but it's coming along, I promise. So we're gonna take a little bit of concealer and we are going to use that to create a cut crease. And I'm gonna cut all the way through. Doesn't have to be perfect because we are going in with a glitter liner. I mean, to be honest, the trick to a cut crease is just knowing your eye shape. I mean, that's the best advice that I can give. And then also to get a really nice brush to lay down the color. This is the Anastasia A18. It is fabulous. It creates such beautiful, sharp, line making sure that they're even all right so now i'm so excited because we are going to jump into the grande pro volume 2 and this is the color that i wanted to use for this look this is what inspired me to create this look and that's just gonna go straight onto the concealer now with this color i would recommend you applying it either wet or with a mixing medium if you don't have a concealer that you're putting it on top Luckily, with this concealer still being wet, it is going to help bring out that color just because it is making sure that the pigment is staying on the lid. You're not losing any of that pigment. It's sticking to your lid with the concealer. Definitely use a mixing medium. It's going to make it look metallic. I feel like this side is turning out way better than this side. So now I want to create kind of the smoky outer edge. So I'm just going to take some of the matte black from the one, volume one palette 
and using this stiffer blending brush I'm just patting that right over the outer edge of my eye and blending and I like the effect of the black going over that green color I think it looks really nice make sure you blend it really well Right, so let's play with some mixing medium. Love the way the volume 2 palette works with mixing mediums, especially the glitter shade. This row right here, they are very sheer colors, but they have a lot of glitter to them. So those are definitely to be used as lid toppers. So I'm going to use the Esum Pro Mixing Medium. It's a very liquidy mixing medium. So what you do, just so you know, you're going to just drop a little bit on the back of your hand and then take a brush that has synthetic hairs and just run the brush over the mixing medium and then I'm just gonna dip it in that color and I'm gonna apply that glitter straight to my lid and this is going to add that festive look I love glitter I love glitter year-round but I think most people will feel more comfortable wearing glitter this time of year you know so this just adds a nice light layer of glitter. Now if you're looking for a heavy layer of glitter, you might want to look into a glitter glue. But I do like how the mixing medium just lightly applies that glitter. And then for a glitter liner, I'm using gold. So I'm going to use the NYX Glitter Liquid Liner in this gold color. And I'm just going to go right over the cut crease. So if you aren't good at cut creases, this is good at covering it. Don't really recommend the NYX one. Kind of burns, and yet I continue to use it. Once you're done with that, take a cotton pad or whatever and sharpen it. All right, so I'm going to go off camera and finish my face makeup, and then we will talk liner and lashes and all of that good stuff, and also the lower lash line. We are going to work on the lower lash line. I'm not doing anything too adventurous with the lower lash line. I mean, just because we already have so much going on up here, so I'm just going to kind of continue with what we did up there. So I'm going to take this color from the volume 2, which is the lid color, and I'm going to place that on. On the inner half of my lower lash line very subtly I'm not too pressed on making it look metallic or applying it with a mixing medium I'm more so just focusing on just getting the idea of that reflection and then now I'm going to go straight in with the matte black from the volume one and I'm gonna put that right on the outer corner Really simple, just basically having the same color scheme that's on top on the bottom. So I'm using a pencil brush to really apply that. Pencil brushes are great for the lower lash line because they are very precise in placement. With the look being so dramatic, I'm going to pass on eyeliner today. I kind of wanted to do a winged eyeliner look, but this happened, so never mind. Okay, so I just went ahead and finished this look. I added pressure lower lashes from House of Lashes. I used Coco lashes in the style Misha and everything else on my face if you're curious it will be listed down below but yeah this was supposed to be a holiday look I don't know how holiday turned out I did put a red lipstick on and hope spreading green you know? <laughs> but anyways I mean this look is gorgeous I was a little worried about it for a second but oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with this look. Anyways, so this is the look I created. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <clears throat> okay, so since the last look was a lot more dramatic, for this look, we're doing something a lot more simple and very, very festive. So just like the last tutorial, I'm going to take this cream color from the volume one and I'm going to use that to set my under eyebrows. This is the most amazing color for that. For my personal skin tone, really can't get any better than this color. So for the next color, I'm going to stay with the volume one and I'm going to mix two colors. I'm going to take this light tan color and then I'm going to just tap once into that orange color just to warm everything up and I'm just going to blend that all over my crease so now we're just gonna focus on deepening 
the outer corner. I'm not going to put any more color near the inner corner of my eye. So I'm starting off with this medium brown here and we are just going to blend that into the outer part of the lid like right here. So I'm just patting the color down and then I'm going to blend it. As you can see, that blended with literally no effort. And then I'm just gonna take this really kind of Swiss deep chocolate color right here, and I'm just using the exact same brush. And I'm just gonna use that to create even more depth. If you don't like too much depth, I would totally recommend skipping this stuff. That is okay. Because sometimes having no depth in an eye look and just having that all over lid color, I find it to be a beautiful look, but I like my depth. And as you can see, I'm kind of keeping it into a close shape around my eye. So just a circle, I'm not bringing it out. And that's that. I'm gonna go back into the Isom Pro Mixing Liquid. And from the volume two, the only shadow I'm using is this beautiful gold right here. That color screams holiday to me. And when you use it with a mixing medium, it is insane so again i put the mixing medium on my hand it's really liquidy or i would show you better and then i use my brush and i get it all damp i'm just dipping straight into that pan look at this isn't that intense this mixing medium just makes everything look like liquid foil on my lid and as you can see, I'm just putting it everywhere from inner corner even to outer corner. Just cover that shadow. If it's a little messy, that's okay, but I'm really keeping it on the eyelid area. And then I'm going to take a small brush like this and I am just going to blend out that gold color. So blending this out is going to make the look a lot more simple. Gosh, I know I just did a cut crease look, but there really is something so special about a really diffused lid color and just a really simple look like this. So now I'm actually going to use liquid eyeliner to line my eyes. I'm going to do a pretty nice big wing. I just think it's going to look really great with this makeup. This is the e.l.f. liquid liner. It's only $2. All right, I'm just, I'm not gonna talk because this is serious business. All right, so I finished the liner. Now I'm just gonna go off camera and finish the face makeup and I will be back. I finished my face makeup. If you're curious about anything I have on my face, of course, it will be down in the description box. So we're gonna work on our lower lash line and you can go multiple directions with your lower lash line. You can choose to go brown and keep it neutral. You can choose to put a little bit of brown in the outer corner and then putting gold kind of in the inner half of the lid, which is normally something I would do. I think that's going to create the most simple look that I think most people will prefer, but I am going to show you a little bit of a different direction that you can take. So I'm going to go into my volume two and I'm going to take this beautiful cranberry shade right here and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. It's going to mix things up and I'm going to match my lip color to that lower lash line color. I'm just going to take a small pencil brush and I'm going to just run that along my lower lash line like so. And on an even smaller bullet brush. Now, if you have sensitive eyes, you might not want to do this, but I'm going to actually apply that straight onto my waterline as well. When you apply the same waterline color as your lower lash line color, I just think it looks better. If you think it's looking a little crazy, I promise it's going to get better because we are going to do lashes and lips. So I'm going to put on some mascara on my upper and lower lashes and then I'm going to use these lotus lashes and these are going to complete the look. All right, so I finished my makeup look. I found the perfect lip color. I wanna talk about it for a half second. This is the Pat McGrath Blitz Trance Lipstick in Club Kiss. I did do a review on these and swatched the ones that I purchased, but this is the most perfect look and time of year for this lipstick. I think, you know, it's a glitter lip, so it's gonna look so good for the holidays, and I love it with this look. Also, what I think would be really good is if you did keep that neutral lower lash line and then put just a beautiful cherry Christmas red on, 
that would be awesome for the holidays too but I did want to take it into a little bit of a different direction and this is what I did and I love it So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Throughout the past few months, I have had comments about those two palettes and I did purchase both as soon as they released. Um, so I've just been enjoying them in private. So I thought it was time to finally do tutorials using them like I promised. Now Muse Beauty Pro is actually when this palette came out where I purchased this palette from and they reached out to me and they were kind enough to send me everything else that is in this kit including the mixing medium which I'm in love with it's called the Vizzy Arts Lover Set so if you're interested I will put the link down below to it but if anything I would suggest you go to their website because they do have a lot of other deals on other products but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful and I hope you love this look I cannot wait wait to do more looks with this because every time I use these two palettes I just get even more inspired to create even more different fun looks so make sure you're following my Instagram because of course the more looks I create the more pictures I'm going to post of them using them and yeah anyways I will see you guys in my next video bye